Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. So grab yourselves a nice cup of tea and some snacks and let's get in because today's video is a really special video, actually. I've been really excited to film this. I've worn a shade of pink. All of my summer clothes I put away because I mixed them out. Um, but I wore a shade of pink an autumnal kind of pink, as it is Pink October this month. So you may have seen about, it is Pink October month, so it's Breast Cancer Awareness. And I just wanted to let you know that today's video is in collaboration with Cricut. They have kindly asked me to team up with them to make something. I'm also going to be leaving the link in my description box below. So if you'd like to go on to donate um, for Pink October, that would be great because Cricut are raising money and awareness and I thought it was just such a great cause. So today I'm going to be making a nice pink jumper. So I got this pink jumper from Asda, very cheaply. Asda do some really beautiful tickle pink things in there as well um, for the awareness. But I thought this would be a really nice gym jumper. I really love the color pink. And what I thought it'd be good as is if I put loads of emblems on this, it'd be great because when people look at my jumper and see what I've got on there, it will help them to remember to check their tatties as well. Um, so <laughs> let's get in. They've also sent out a really big bundle of pink vinyl so we've got iron on ones here there's infusible ink as well that's great um if you don't know how to use infusible ink i did i did a video i don't i worked with cricket last summer and um there was a really lovely lady kate and she made me an infusible mug um so she showed me how to use that so i'll link the video below because there's a it was the cricket special day um so they'll show you how to use a few different items but I am going to be using stay some iron on. So I've got some very different bits, some patterny ones here. Look, the little polka dotty bits. Um, I'm going to be using different ones today. There's also a holographic one that you can put on to like mugs or signs. Really cute bits, and they've lastly sent out a little cricket cutie as well in pink. Um, so I'm going to call her Betty. Betty for breast cancer awareness and she's my little cricket cutie. And I'm gonna stick her on top of my cricket machine so she can watch and oversee to make sure I'm not making any mistakes, which I surely probably will, but that's fine because if you're here on my channel, you probably know that already. Um, so before we get in, I'm gonna start making, but I do wanna let you know as well, I wasn't actually asked to do specifically, but I think if I'm gonna be doing a breast cancer awareness video, I'm gonna be teaming up. I'm gonna do it a little bit of Rose's way as well. So hopefully if this is kept in, it's because cricket have said, yeah, that's more than okay to do. It. so this charity is actually very close to my heart and there's been a few times in my videos over the last few years of having youtube that i have shared and just randomly during a try on haul decided to show you how to check your boobs yourself so it's really important ladies to check your boobs and i know sometimes it can feel a little bit scary um because it is and you know when you find lumps, I've very, very been lucky that none of mine have ever been cancerous, but I have found lumps and it's been a very, very scary ordeal when it has happened. I have very, very cystic breasts and they do take it very, very seriously and they check and I've always been okay. Um, but it is worrying, especially when you have children and then with the statistics as well, one in seven women will actually be touched by breast cancer in their lives. And the good thing about it is, is if it's caught early, it's very, very good chances of it being cured. So it's very good to familiarize yourself with your own boobs and understand how they look and also how they feel so that if you feel a change and you do this weekly, I know lots of you have an everything bath where you might have a shave or you know you might decide to have a face pack on that day or you know you do your hair once a week. Why not when you do that, have a little look in the mirror I mean, I could look at a very low mirror because my boobs are very, very low now and it's, it takes a while to do it, but you definitely have the time because if you've got the time to watch this video now, I say this all the time, you've got a couple minutes to do it and the best way to check your boobs is to have a bra off, relax. It's very good to do it after a warm bath or shower as well because everything just relaxes and then put your arms up and with the sort of flat of your hand, feel all around the breast tissue. Now we're gonna take this all the way up as well into your armpits here as well. And you're just feeling for any tissue that's unfamiliar. Now, to be honest with you, once you understand your anatomy of your own boobs and you feel what you feel and you know what they feel like and what they look like as well, because sometimes the symptoms can be puckering of the breast, dimpling, changing color, changing shape, any discharge, any irregularities in your boobs. So it's really good to get a good look at them as well. Have a look in the mirror. 
have a little look. Now, we're not expecting you to find anything, but it's so good to be aware of your boobs because once you're aware of your boobs, and this goes for guys too, if you're aware of your boobs, then you're aware of the changes and then steps can be made super quickly, which is amazing. And in my case, I'm always on it with my boobs. They get checked very quickly, peace of mind, no rosy, it's absolutely fine. And there have been a few iffy moments where doctors have been, mm, I'm not sure about that. And you do get scared, but do you know what? It's always been okay and it is better to check. And if there is gonna be something, it's better to catch it early. So go all the way around the whole of the breast tissue. Make sure you feel all the way around as well, different shape in nipples and changes. Just always check. Um, so we are gonna get into the video. Obviously remember, really check all of the boobs and right up into the armpits as well. Hopefully this bit will stay in the cricket video because <laughs> I've just decided to take that upon myself to do that. But we are gonna get in now. <laughs> and also as well, I'll be leaving a link in the description box below um, for you to be able to donate. And then as well, I'll ask the team if it's okay as well, if I can link the website where it will show you all the changes and that, any, um, that you can look out for. It might even be on the donate page. I'll have a little look. I'll ask them um, what I can do so you can have a little look on there. And you can see a definite of what you need to check. Um, so I'm going to start off with my jumper, as I say. So when I'm in hitting the gym and I'm there, other women will say, probably think, what's she got written on her top? Well, they're not going to because the design I've got in my mind is going to be very eye-catching. And then once they look, they will realise and maybe there'll be a bit of awareness for them to check their boobies too. So what I'm going to be making, I'm going to move the camera back. What I'm making today will be on my Cricut Maker Free. Um, I was going to do, use my Cricut Joy Extra. Let's pull us back a bit. Pull us back. I was going to be doing it on my Cricut Joy Extra today, but then I thought, you know what? I want quite a large emblem <laughs> on my top because I ordered a very large jumper. This has just come out of the wash. It's a little bit crazy, but it's fine because I'm going to be getting the Easy Press out to iron it on. So, two birds, one stone. So, this is very going to be so comfy. I'm so excited. It's such a bright, lovely colour. So, I've just turned my Cricut machine on. And what you're gonna to need to do is make sure you go onto your Bluetooth settings, make sure your Bluetooth is on if you've not used a Cricut machine before. There's so many videos on how to use Cricut machines. And if you go on the Cricut website as well, there's so many amazing people on Instagram as well that I follow that are just absolute whizzies with the Cricut machine. And it's great because then they teach you loads of tricks on how to use things. But make sure your Bluetooth is on and you're linked up to your machine and your machine is on. Then we are ready to go. So I'm gonna move the camera and show you what I'm gonna be printing out. Cause I'm gonna show you what designs I'm picking off Design Space. And then we'll get in. See, I've got my little cricket cutie here. <laughs> Barbara, or was it Betty? I can't remember what I called her now. She's either Barbara or Betty, it's fine. And there's all that happy birthday stuff in the background. It's actually Archie's birthday today, but it's while he's at school. So I'm gonna go on, um, and I'm using Gary's phone. He's also got this downloaded onto his phone. <laughs> I'm terrible with my battery, so it's very good. So the last thing you'll see that I made was pumpkins and autumn decor. We are looking for look pink ribbons. You can see I've been looking at boobs as well. So I saw an amazing design. We'll go on to images. Now I do subscribe to the um, Cricut Design Space. I pay this monthly just because I use my Cricut machine so much and so often I make gifts and presents and cards and toppers for cakes, all sorts of things. So to be honest with you, it works out so much cheaper and where you'd see a price would be, that's how much it would be. I think that'd be 99, but obviously for the design. And some of these can be like 4.99 if they're a very, very big design. Um, but I like to just, oh look, in October, we wear pink. I saw a design, I've been doing DIY as well, guys, and in the gardens, please excuse my fingers. I'm a very crafty person and I've been doing gardening and I've got, you know, workman hands <laughs> at the moment. Painting, I also hung up a row today in my utility room inside the cupboard with the drill to make a wardrobe for my coats. Let's find it because it was right down the bottom, but there's so many designs here. It was very similar to this um, rainbow print here. So I'm gonna find, I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. So I thought this one was really nice because it's a rainbow, but it also has the little pink ribbon in it. I think as well, if you're gonna be doing it, we might as well use um, the symbol for breast cancer, which is the pink ribbon. So I'm gonna add to canvas and I'm also gonna size this up. Right, view. So when we put this into view, now the standard print of um, vinyl is 32. So we could really max this out, make it nice and large, or you could twist it around to have it even bigger. I think 32 is gonna be perfect for my chest. So I'm gonna be using my standard grip mat today. Um, and what I'm gonna be doing is, is obviously keep that to the side. If you've not used a Cricut machine before, keep this to the side, you put this back on top and it keeps it nice and sticky. There's no fluff getting stuck to it. 
And when you're using an iron-on material, always remember to put it down, shiny side down. Now, the reason for this is because it will make it uncuttable if you do it the other way around. Um, I'm just going to be using my little Cricut twister. Measure it out. And as I say, pop it down. So when you're all stuck down and ready to go, remember shiny side facing downwards, that's really remember. I'm gonna show you, you're gonna need to put mirror on before we put this in ready to cut. Make it. Well then you're gonna do it on a mat for any material, confirm. And then we're gonna go next. And then it's gonna ask you to pick what material you're using. Um, so there'll be popular materials here or ones that you use a lot. Um, so we're gonna do all materials and I'm gonna search in sports. Sports Flex Iron-On, that's what we're using. Um, so make sure your mirror is on. So Design Space is automatically turned the mirror on, but please just make sure that this is green, just in case. Um, and then we're gonna load our machine, make sure that everything is stuck down really nicely, pushed up to the grippers here, like underneath the two little white teeth, pushed up to the little white grippers here, and then press your load button. And it's just gonna check for you to make sure that you've got the correct amount of material um, to be able to make your cut. Now it's gonna just make sure they've got the right amount of material for the width as well, and then it'll be press play, and we are ready to cut. And then once you're ready to go, action complete, okay, and then we can unload a machine, and it would have cut out uh, lovely ribbons, ready to go, and then it will show you to do the next stage of this. So the smart materials doesn't have to obviously go onto the mat unless you're using a small scrap, like I said. Um, but like I saved all my little scraps and stuff. Make sure again, shiny side downwards, um, and then go play. And that'd be preparing. While that is getting ready though, I am gonna use my little <laughs> and I'll save that bit for scraps um, for other projects that I can use. I might even, at Christmas time, make, because Millie has a lot of pink stuff, um, make like little frosted berry PJs for her. She can just iron all over a plain pair of PJs. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to weave this. So with the weaving tool, I have got a weaving tool, but they're very kindly sent out in a pink packet for me. A pink weaving tool. So I'm going to be using that as it is pink October. You can hear me over the picking machine. I just find it fascinating that you literally pick a design and then it tells you. Oh, it's just so exciting. Right. Get my uh, weeder tool out. And then let's blow at the camera as well so you can see what I'm doing so sometimes you can obviously use the reverse of this I'm also going to use that as a scrap waste not want not and then also as well sometimes if scraps are too small to use I mean it has to be quite small to not be able to use it but I then use it and then I can just with my little cricket scissors I've just cut like little pieces off specs. You can have like 80s retro flex and stuff. Don't waste your vinyl. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna weave this now. So pulling the back part off. I'm gonna say, you'll see the difference between me doing this with this and the more stiffer um, smart iron on. 
some of some of the materials, especially the glitter ones, they just peel away so quickly. But I think this has got quite a bit of a stretch in it, so it's a little bit giving me a bit of a run for my money, but it's quite therapeutic actually. Sometimes I'll do all my cuts and then I'll just sit there weeding it out for a little while if I'm making like multiple things or gifts. I dare say I'll be doing a little session of making stuff as it comes up to Christmas. Um the last huge session of cricket making we made was for my niece Lottie's birthday. Um, so we made like loads and loads of trolls, decor, uh, vinyls for balloons, big sign for a balloon arch, signs coming in. We cut out trolls hair and attached them to, like cut out with cardstock, trolls hair, and then put them on top of pictures of her as bunting. And actually cut out the cardstock for the bunting, which is really cute. So this is our little pink design here with the pink ribbons. And then also we've got the other design on this one. I'm just checking to make sure there's any before I peel it away I'd rather save it so pull this all the way to the end and then I'm going to save that part there put away in my stores and then we're going to weave this one and you'll probably see how quickly the smart iron on the weaves <laughs> once I get a pinch of it Whenever I watch some of the lovely girls that do a lot of the cricket and they show you how to do it on Instagram, they do this bit so therapeutically and I'm just not a therapeutic kind of person. <laughs> ready and weeded now and they are ready to go i'm gonna have to put this one on first and um, so by the time i put that one over the top this is a larger on a larger piece of plastic um so it will not catch any of the material and um, like any of this with the press afterwards i mean you could use a mini press and do it very very slowly if you wanted to but i just think it'd work out better doing it that way and um, so that's actually going on the back of my jumper because i'm really going all out with my jumper so i'm putting that on the back so i've got that ready and cut and then I'm going to be making something for the front of my jumper because I think it'd be wrong. Now, fun. you are going to have to go into your settings and you are going to have to go into your content settings and make sure that you click, yes, I'm 18 years older and to proceed. And I'm happy to see the mature um, and nudity and anything like that. So you can adjust this down there. Now, what I'm going to be looking for is pink October breast. And then images, and we should get, look at these designs, they're amazing. Look, in October, that is beautiful. In October, we wear pink. And I'm looking for a certain design. I want some boobies. <laughs> I want some boobies that represent mine, some droopy boobies. I want a picture of lots of different shaped boobies. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to write boobs because I think that it will come up more. With boobies here oh here we go boobies right I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do boobies run like the wind falls I can hear him boobies I'm gonna go for this design because they're slightly irregular and I think they're quite cute. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of, I'm gonna add this to canvas. I'm gonna view it. And then I'm gonna make this a little bit larger. Right. And then I'm gonna move it into the corner to make sure we cut it like this. And then I'm gonna put a text in as well and I always love the text Aldine for some reason. Not Bobby's. <laughs> we read that properly. Check your boobies. I'm going to make this really a lot smaller. Done. And we're going to make that. 
and that's smaller. And there. So this is what we're going to do. So now we're going to go on and, oh, I'm going to change the style. So it's going to be regular. Cricut Sands, I'm going to change this to the Aldine because I absolutely love the Aldine one. Aldine, where are you? There we go. That's the sort of writing I use all the time. Right, we're done. Right, so we've got our back design. We've also got our front design. We've check your boobies on this. And um, <laughs> I'm excited, so I'm gonna turn my Cricut off. Close it, I'm gonna put my little scissors back. I love it, it just gives it so handy. Everything needs I'm also gonna put my little boobies in there as well. Close it up it away for later so i'm going to set up the easy press turn it on i did just heat up over there get it ready i'm also going to be using my little mat kind of my little easy press case now if you go on um to the cricut website you will be able to find out because i did have a little piece of paper come with this some instructions with your easy press which will tell you what materials you'll need for what um heat times etc so i'm going to start off with my boobies on the front and what i am going to do is i'm going to pop this inside my jumper so that the layer isn't trying to penetrate through two layers i'm going to make sure my jumper's nice and straight i'm going to move the camera as well so you can see a bit better can you see a bit better yeah so I move the camera Got to make sure that it's in the middle. Not exact because I don't even think my boobies are exact. <laughs> my real breast. But we're going to try and get it over as much as we can, make sure. Now, even if this wasn't creased, because I am terrible ironing stuff, I would always go over this with your press first just to make sure that the area is nice and free of any. Um, creases or anything like that right and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put my boobies on first that sounds like a hilarious thing to say i want to make sure that they're not too high up i want them to be a little bit low do you know what i mean i don't want them to be like once by the time i wear my bra i don't want them here i want them kind of like lower right there we go and then i'm gonna pop it on i'm gonna turn the temperature up a little bit you can adjust it by pressing the temperature button on this and then doing up or down for a certain amount of time and the little cricket light will be red and then once it's at the temperature that you want it to be it will go green and um, flatten this down and make sure that the uh, vinyl is underneath and the plastic is on top now so that you don't end up with any messes let's just hope for the best <laughs> this is fun how it's meant to be. I'm looking from above and I'm thinking it is, and I'm gonna have the sign slightly moved over. So I'm gonna pop this on. Now we're going back now. And I'm also gonna press the cricket because then it will count it down. So I've got this on for 30 seconds um, and then it will count it down once you press your little cricket. Um, and I always keep mine moving. I also got asked in my last video where I used some iron on my Cricut. It made the material go a little bit darker, but it's like if you use an iron, it will do. Um, but once the material's cool, it will regime. And then once I wash my stuff as well, it's just all basically the same again. Um, you will know when enough time has passed because it will just basically lift off itself. I find the smart materials do that much more easily and so do the ones with the glitter or the holographic. I find though, the ones that are more like the sporty or the fine, like the, um, not the smart, the easy iron on, they're just a little bit, they take a little bit longer and I don't feel like they peel off themselves and sometimes they are attached. You might not necessarily see. Now that my design is on, 
Now I'm going to keep that bit of plastic over this part for a second just to protect it because I'm going to be moving my mat over in order to put my word in because I want my word in to be slightly to the side and then I'm going to do that again and it will count it down. I always give it a bit of a wiggle. I feel like it just, I don't know, if that's a lucky charm or whatever, but it'll go on really nicely. And the thing is, because it's such a bold statement, it's naturally gonna draw people's eye to it. And then the wording's big enough that you'll go check people, oh, okay. <laughs> what would be really nice as well is if you decided to have, instead of the hearts, having the little ribbons, that'd be really cute as the nippy area. And we have the front ready, so. <laughs> Check your boobies. And then we're gonna do the back section of my big rainbow. Now this is gonna be on the back of the jumper. If you are using the bag, you can get a little special bag to put it in and it comes with a little mat. You can um, put this side down. It does say put this side down, just to let you know, just in case you didn't know. So I just searched out what temperature to be using the instructions with this sports flex material because I've not used this one before um, and it's a warm pill so basically yet again I am the area before you put it on so I pressed the area um, and made sure it was nice and warm and then I put this on and then I've done a little dabble and then I'm going to put it up to 150 degrees um, centigrade and then I'm going to pop it on and then leave it for 30 seconds and it should be stuck down beautifully. So when I printed this down, it looked a bit silvery, the pink. Very, very pretty. I think if it was against the white, it would look pink because it's sort of like a rose tinted pink, like metallic. Um, but against such a bright color and then the white, it looks a bit silver. So what I've done is, is I thought instead, I went back into my stores and I had some neon pink. Um, and this is the Everyday Neon Iron Pack. And I thought what I'm gonna do is add these all in pink. And then I realized that in the little ribbons around the edges, there should be eight. So I thought I'd leave one of them silver so that we can, well, it's not silver, it's pink. And then a couple of the other ones, like the large one, I've overlapped them slightly. And I thought it'd be like a small nod to the fact that they're all the same, but slightly different. And it's with our boobies as well. So I've done some that are just a plain pink. One is just plain silver. Some of them are a mix of both of them. And I just thought it gives it a pop of pink because I feel like the ribbons should be in the pink. And we are, turn this off, done. That is so much better. I much prefer the pink and I love the little layered up effect on some of them. <coughs> so some of them will have a little overlap, as you'll see, like you'll see some of the silver peeking through. And then one of them is silver. Some of them will have little flecks of silver poking through, but it's mostly pink. And then we've got this on the back. I just, with a pink, I just feel like you know what it's for, if that makes sense. And then we've also got the check your boobies. So I'm going to put it on. <laughs> and guys, if you can donate, that would be amazing. I'm going to leave the link below. Even if you can donate a pound, it's for a terrific cause. I know how times are hard, so it's only if you can. Um, but this is what I'm wearing to the gym. So now, when people might possibly stare at my breasts, they will know to check their own. Men and women alike, all check your boobies. And then, <laughs> I actually love this job. I was gonna do different style of boobs. I should have done my style of boob, but do you know what? It'd be nice to have perky boobs for once in my life. Well, I did have them at one time, breastfeeding four children, so took it completely out of me. Um, and then, this is the back. Oh, I love my jumper. It's amazing. Um, if you decide to make any of these bits, guys, please tag me in them. I'd love to see. Um, so this is the Cricut collaboration of the Pink October. I'm going to move my camera. Make sure I don't lean on my boobies. <laughs> and also as well, I'll um, leave the link as well in the below so that you can check. 
so show you how to check your boobs correctly um but yeah and if you ever need anyone to talk to guys i'm always here so yeah drop me a message but i'm gonna go now guys see you later take care bye